Welcome to Blessed and Beautiful. My name is Renee. Come on in. Have a seat on the front row. Come on in. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. If you are a member of this lady squad, both new and reigning OG ladies, hey, welcome back everybody. Come on in. Thank you so much for being a part of this lady squad one more time. And if you are new, come on in as well. Come have a seat with this lady squad. Get cozy. Get to know some people. We love to have you join us. So we hope you see something or hear something that you really like that's going to make you say, you know what? I'm going to hang out with this lady squad. And then all you have to do is subscribe and then tap the button and Ta-da! You're a Slady Squad member. It's free. You don't have to pay anything at all. And every time I upload a video, you are right here on the front row. Everybody sits on the front row at Blessed and Beautiful. So you'll be right there ready for my next video, which is coming up really soon. So thank you everybody for being here. Let's get started because today we have our last round two battle and after this we are heading on to round three i wonder who is going to make it to round three i've been trying not to look because i left the voting open if you are visiting and you want to understand what the voting is this is much madness that's now in may yay Woo! okay that's enough of that all right so we started out in March with March Madness, and then a whole bunch of stuff happened. And so here we are in May. We are almost through. We are with our last battle brand for round two today. And we had all of our lip gloss, lipstick, lip oil. We had everybody just going against one another in some battle brands. And we have voted. All you do is go in to the comment section and say which brand you like the most. That's it. You voted. And it's so much fun. It doesn't really matter. There's no like, you know, if we had money, like we'd have celebrities and we'd have like giveaway bags for everybody. But we just got each other. So, hey, come on in. Have fun. Yeah. So, whichever one you all think is the best is the one that goes on to the next round. And today, we have a battle between... Beauty Bakery, and I don't know what that noise is, and ColourPop So Glassy. I just thought I should do it for both so that they wouldn't feel left out. I don't know what that is. All right, so let me tell you what's on my face, and then we can go on with everything. So, of course, one of my favorite foundations is the becca ultimate coverage 24 hour foundation and so that's what i'm wearing today and i keep using it and i need to put it to the side because this is it y'all there's no more and becca is no more i would have to probably like go underground to find some and you know i don't know maybe they're making them in secret in some secret factory down below ground and then we can get one i don't know but right now this is it and then um, on my eyes, y'all. Ta-da! This palette is from Timu. So all my Timu fans, hey! How y'all doing? Try to sneak some Timu in there for you. So this is the most amazing palette ever. Let me tell you why. Because the packaging has this wonderful, gold, beautiful, starry, just look at this. We got stars, we got planets, we got shooting stars and moons and constellations. I mean, we got it all. And then, on the inside... Let me not blind y'all to death. We got this full palette size mirror. Like this whole opening part is a mirror. So you're going to see yourself from, you can stand all the way back there and do your makeup. You'd have to keep walking up to get the eyeshadow. But I mean, it's a big mirror. And then these are the eyeshadow shades. So listen to this. This is like perfect. Ring pop. And here's one called honey tootsie, like, you know, tootsie roll. And then we got cinnamon and taffy. And what was my favorite down here? Snickers. You know, like the Snickers bar? Yeah. I don't know. But guess what the name is? Desert Dusk, y'all. That's that's ultimate. Like, teen editor would know what I'm talking about. We got candy and all these constellations in the desert. That's like a bomb palette. Like, it makes a whole lot of sense. All right, but this eye look came from here, and I really did like enjoy, you know, applying it. I will say that this is kind of like a drugstore brand. It reminds me of Revolution. Um, 
it, you know, it's not bad. Like some of these, some of these um, mattes are creamy, but then some of them are like super powdery. And so I don't know, like if they was a, if they were able to get a company for it all, I don't know. It's just really weird. But I picked two of the really nice creamy mattes. Do you see that? Look at how creamy that is. And then look at this. I mean, that speaks for itself. The shim is shimming. Like for real, for real, this palette is bomb. So here's your space constellation solar system candy named desert dusk palette and you get this and so it's, it makes sense it's a whole lot of sense so i love that and it's on my eyes and i want to say it doesn't last long i i feel like it just kind of disappears because i y'all know me I, I put color on this is pretty it's very nude but i really think at least i thought it was a little bit more intense and now it's not as intense you can see the colors but it's just not as intense when i first put it on not like this like it seems like it kind of like faded a little bit so but other than that it's it's not that bad i mean for eight dollar palette oh i didn't tell you that eight dollars and nine cents timu bomb pick it up you'll like it okay so so first let's talk about beauty bakery um no that's not brand day brand day oh yeah it is brand day is <laughs> beauty bakery see y'all i'm gonna be jacked up today i'm thinking b is brand b <sighs> okay so beauty bakery is brand a today and Beauty Bakery is a multitude of types of lip glosses. So they have the mattes, and this is a matte, and this is a matte, okay? So they have their mattes, and this is a metallic matte. So these dry down, okay? Then they have their glosses, which are here, all right? So their, their glosses are intensely rich, high payoff pigment. They're opaque. They have a wet look, a high shine, and they're shimmer free, okay? So you're gonna get some shades that are just kinda like, you know, super opaque, super shiny, no shimmer. It's all about the shine for those, okay? Um, and then the lip whips, I have that here. They are long lasting. I left this here because I need to read what they put. Long lasting, smudge proof, waterproof don't worry about eating your makeup with our lip whips who eats their makeup okay they stay on your lips not your food apply your lip whip and leave it at home that is some serious claims put the lip whip on and then leave do they mean for the day or just to the store because it says don't worry about reapplying so if i'm working and i go to a job that's eight hours i eat lunch probably ate something for breakfast wow these are some heavy claims i'm gonna have to try this out one day and test it out and see well y'all know the other lip held up to my noodles i mean it was bomb so maybe this is the same it says it's vegan please note stickiness can result if the product is not allowed ample time to dry or if product is layered with more than three layers all right so we're going to make sure that we follow those directions when we put the lip whip on today now i don't know what's going to happen when i need to switch colors they didn't say in here what happens when you have a brand battle and you're doing lip swatches so I think we got to figure that out on our own. I'll pray for my lips. All right, so let's talk about ColourPop. Now, ColourPop is one of my favorite lip brands. Like, I feel like I can find a lot of good things to choose from. And their prices are very affordable. And you get some pretty good products, okay? So they, but the thing that trips me out is all the types of products they have. Y'all ready? This is like my, my Forrest Gump thing we got lip lacquer we got lippy sticks lip cream liquid lip lip oil lip gloss lippy pencils so juicy blotted lip what else and so glassy that's that's a lot so we're gonna stick just with so glassy right now now y'all know i wanted to do my lippy sticks but it didn't end up in the battle this year so maybe next year especially if i have a whole lot more because they got new colors that i need to get so for these we're just doing so glassy we're gonna do some opaque so glassy we're gonna do some iridescent shimmery so glassy and then we're gonna do this metallic and i thought this would hold up against the beauty bakery with since they got all these different things all right so 10 minutes gone by y'all sick of listening to me so let's get this started okay i'm ready 
got my lights, got some jazzy jazz music. So today, brand A again is Beauty Bakery, brand B is ColourPop. So as soon as you have decided which brand you like the most, put your brand A or Beauty Bakery or brand B ColourPop down into the comment section below. You can Okay, this has got to be like the craziest, <laughs> the craziest video of all because I'm doing things out of order. And then I realized I never told you all about these <laughs> glosses. So let me tell you about those first. All right, so the So Glassy glosses are 100% vegan. Out of this world finish is what they're looking for. And yeah. They're infused with prismatic pearls, ultra-dimensional crystal-like shine, super comfy jojoba oil infused, and anything else. These shades, they're saying why you need these shades. They're neutral, they're totally wearable shades. They have multi-dimensional pearls and metallic pin points. All right, and the reason why I'm doing these out of order is because the... Beauty Bakery, I can already tell, is going to be highly stained, you know, it's going to stain my lips. Um, I already had to wipe the um, this uh, shade from Beauty Bakery off of this um, because it didn't come off my lips all the way. So we're going to do the ColourPop So Glossy, So Glassy, see, glassy or glossy, So Glassy, and then we're going to go back and do the... 
the um you know then we're gonna go back and do these shades that are looking like they're gonna be staining my lips especially if they say put it on and you don't need to take it with you when you leave at you know for the whole day like yeah i don't even know if i'm gonna be able to get it off so we'll come back to them in a moment all right
we've come to the end of our final round two lip swatch brand battle. <sighs> Y'all, my arms are tired from trying to scrub these three off of my lips. Like, my lips right now are on fire. And I'm praying that they'll be fine, that they won't swell, that we won't have it. I get time in between now and the next round for them to heal before I have to put more lip products on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Y'all, oh my goodness, I'm getting this everywhere. Okay, so these are all the colors on the back of my hand. I'm going to be wiping them off now because I keep smearing them onto my desk. Um, okay, so I really enjoyed both brands. I tell you that this, these right here are so glassy, just like they said. These two especially are gorgeous. I love the iridescent um, shades that they make, especially as your lips are moving, you know, as you talk or, you know, you're by a light or anything. It just looks so pretty. These two opaque right here. Um, this one was too neutral for me like I almost couldn't see it but I do like the color I think I would use something like this definitely with the lip gloss these are all so amazing on your lips your lips feel so good when you put these on um, this one I was hoping it would be a little bit more opaque. It still had some patchiness to it, but I did get the cool brown look that I was looking for. Um, I definitely will have to play with this, but as all dark lip products are, it was pretty patchy. Now, this one right here is beautiful. Um, I just could feel the glitter, but I loved how pretty this was, and I don't know if I said it in the last video or one before where I was saying this copper type of metallic um, shade I didn't think I could wear but for some reason I like it better when I have my hair lighter when it was darker I didn't like it on my skin but when my hair was darker but now it doesn't bother me so I like these this one was a little bit lighter and the only thing about this is you could feel some of the glitter on your lips, okay? As you like press your lips together. This one right here, these, I mean, if you're looking for pigment, they got it right here. These are pigmented and I really enjoyed all of them. Um, the, the matte shades made my lips, um, tingle a little bit so I was nervous about that so I'm just going to watch to make sure that I'm not allergic to anything that's in here I know there's no hyaluronic acid in it and there's no plumpers so hopefully um, it's not anything that will cause my lips to swell or weep or whatever they do whenever I find something I'm allergic to on my lips um, but these were very very pretty um, these remind me of the matte shades from NARS. They're very liquidy, so it gives you a little bit of time to put it on and to get it where you want it to be before it dries down. Um, the only one that still needed extra time was this. <laughs> this one, what is this called? Uh, just jelly. She's just jelly. This, I put two coats on and I was scared to do anymore because I didn't want it to look a mess, but I still could not get it to be smooth without any patchiness. Um, these two, no problem. All right, that's it. And I want to thank you all for being here, indulging in my addiction to lip gloss. You all, I just love lip gloss. It's my favorite. You know, even though these are like 20 something dollars, Lip gloss is like one of those inexpensive things that you could just go pick up one for like five or ten dollars and have a good lip gloss. And I think that's why I like it so much. I'll be like, I'm on a low buy, but I'm just going to buy a lip gloss, <laughs> you know. And so um, I do um, thank you all for being here with uh, 
enjoying these lip glosses with me on this video please don't forget to vote brand a was beauty bakery and brand b was ColourPop. which of the two did you like the most put down in the comment section below now normally i would sign off from here but i've decided that i'm going to do a little um testing of what they said about not removing not having to have your lip whip with you once you put it on and that it would last through food so it's dessert time I'm about to have some ice cream so i'm going to take pictures before and after to see do my lips change any once i eat this ice cream and there's some cookies too so <music> know what we say around here whether it's day or evening whatever it is wherever you are i hope that is good don't forget to pray because we really need it and then don't forget to slay all right everyone Bye.